All right, one more time. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. We're Hi. Hi. We're going to continue where we left off. Yesterday, we read a story about Miss S. Do you remember what happened to Miss S? Mm, yes, she um, tagged. Or come um how do they say um, post both um a photo posted yeah posted a photo yeah uh in a party or uh, something like that right and, and her classmates and her co-workers and um, all all her her um, conocidos friends all her friends um tell 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 her that that thing is uh, was wrong that it was wrong or, okay it's good or is jude, jude her what? Go, who's Carla? Judge her? Judged her. Just, it, just her. So her friends judged her. Uh huh. Is that what the article is about? Yes. No. 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 What is the article about? Oh, for the the handprint, uh, or, or what is? Digital dirt and footprint. And For... yes, it's about digital dirt and what else? Footprint. What footprint? Um, oh, how do you say that? It's right here, footprint, but what else? Only footprint? No. Online, Online footprint. footprint. Perfect. That's what the article is about. Now, this article tells you five basic steps to follow. Now, of these five steps, we have one, check what's already online. Two, avoid writing anything you might regret later. Three, create a positive online image. Four, use a professional email address. And five, join online groups selectively. Now, of all of these, which one do you already do? In, in my case, I use a professional email address. Can you repeat? Yes. In my case, I use a professional email address. Very good. You use a professional web page or email address? Email address. Ah, perfect. Thank you. That's really good. What about the rest of you guys? Which steps do you do? I use four and five. Four and five are awesome. A professional email address and join online groups selectively. Perfect. Which ones do you think you need to do? Number one. Yeah, continue. Check what's online already. Perfect. And which ones do you think is not necessary? I think uh, the the most important is the, the number four and number five. The most important four and five, and which ones are not necessary? Mm. Check what's online already. 
Check what's on already. Okay. Nothing. Very good. Now let's talk a little bit about Mrs. Miss M. What do you think of Miss S's story? Have you heard of similar cases? Um, yes. Which advice in the article do you intend to follow? Let's go in sessions and ask and answer the question with a classmate, please. It's in the group. The image is in the group, so we can all go. All right, guys, we're back. Are you ready? Yes. 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 Okay. Did you finish the activity? Did you have the, some answers? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Yes. Now, let me see. I'm missing more of your classmates. Where are they? So I have almost everybody. Perfect. Everybody. So who's not here today? Who's missing? B. Number five, um, uh, six and seven. Uh, actually, number one. What's number one? I think it's letter A. Letter A? If you obtain something, you say this. Uh, okay. My team, mm, write letter D. G. G. Yes, the same in the case of my team. Letter yeah, we're G. G. Yeah, Boy. we match letter number one with um with letter G. G. Okay. Boy, what, yeah. about, what about number two? Letter E. 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 Yeah, letter E. Number three. Letter D. F. 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 Number four. A. A. Number eight. Number five. B. 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 And number six. Uh, C. C. Number seven. D. D. Now let's check your answers, guys. If you obtain something, do G, get it or achieve it. Perfect, good job. Number two, if you withhold something from someone, do E, keep it and don't give it to that person. Great. Three, if people accuse you of doing something, they say you did something bad or wrong. That's correct. Number four, if you promote something, you say it is a good thing. That is correct. Five, if you deny doing something, you say you didn't do it, right? If employers reject a job applicant, they don't want that person. And if you regret doing something, you are sorry that you did it. Okay. Guys, excellent work. Do you have any questions? No. No question. No teacher. Okay, great. In that case, let's continue with the next one. Ah, uh, this is finished. Now, take turns using the verbs above to ask questions about Mrs. S's story. What happened before Ms. S obtained her teaching career, her teaching degree? This is an example question. Mm -hmm. 
what happened before Miss S obtained her teaching degree? We are having a question. We're making a question with the verb obtain. Oh my gosh. Now let's think of another question. Let's try to use withhold from. Can you think of a question with withhold from? Uh, okay, so what uh, did the school withhold from Mrs. C Mrs. S? Can you write it, please? Can you write your question? Sure. So he's here in number one, right? Sure. It, it really doesn't matter. Okay. Somebody has a different question? Okay. You can write a different question here, guys. Here in this space. And also in this space. And there are 10 of you. So please, one write one question each. Excellent question, sir. What did the school withhold from Ms. S? Perfect. Thank you. Can somebody write a different question? Guys, no answers? I'm not hearing answers and I'm not seeing any uh, participations. Okay, how about we do it all together? Okay. Yeah. Now let's have a, a question with accuse. Yeah, number two. What was Miss S accused? Of? Yes. What? For who did accuse Mrs. Is? Yeah. Who did accuse? Yes. Um, let's have this complete question for you. Who did accuse? Oh my gosh. Who did accuse what? Mrs. S. Miss S. Mm -hmm. Continue. Mm -hmm. Can you continue with the question, please? Okay. Um. Maybe of promoting underage drinking. Yes. Of prom uh -huh. Who did accuse Miss S. of promoting, of promoting underage drinking? Okay, now there is something uh, wrong with this question. In this, in the, uh, I have the auxiliar and the verb together in a question. That's not typically. I think correct. it's accused without it. That's right. Why? Because who is the person? We, we don't object. use. An auxiliary pair with who? Thank you. Awesome. So let me change this to blue. And now I'm gonna write the D with red. Who accused Miss S of promoting underage drinking? Oh. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Now let's go with the next verb. Uh, actually, we use two verbs right there. <laughs> That's beautiful. Now, deny. Let's use the verb deny. Uh, 
I'm gonna help you a little bit. I'm gonna be give you a, a simple past question. Did, Did Miss S deny? Yes. Denied. Uh huh. Oh, sorry. No, deny. Deny. Give me a second, guys. Did Miss S deny? Continue. Promoting. Underage drinking. Now this is a, a, a typical simple past question. And here on our verbs, we have deny doing. Deny doing. Yes? Yes. Okay, let's have another question. The next verb, reject. What question can we can we ask with the verb reject? Did her classmates reject her? Did her classmates? Mm -hmm. Did she have classmates? I don't know. Well, what about colleagues? Yeah, that's better, colleagues. right? Colleagues. Did her, did her colleagues reject her? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Did her colleagues reject her? Okay. Next, the last question. Regret. Well, maybe did she regret uploading the photo? There you go. Did she regret uploading the photo? Oh, well. <laughs> there. Does anybody else want to uh, share another question? Or are we finished? If we're finished, please take a picture of the questions and let's go in session so you can ask and answer with a classmate, please. All right, let's go. God bless you. Oh, thank you. I didn't notice that I have my microphone on. Sorry.
Okay, so can we write? Please. An write, option write, email? Okay. Yes, write your opinion, your, uh, okay. your sentence to say, yes, it's fair, or no, it's not fair, and reason why. Okay. Okay, I, I'm having second thoughts because of the of the word fair. Fair means that is balanced. Uh, that is not, that is just. Okay. Yeah, fair means balanced. Just, equal. Uh, okay, Tommy, that, that's a great sentence. Can you write it on the screen, please? So everybody can watch, can read, I'm sorry. I can't do it. No, on your screen, you should see on the top, view options. Guys, can you help her? Hello, guys. Can you help Okantomi find the uh, controls? Yes. Okantomi, on the top of your screen, it says there's some. Um... She found it. She's writing. Okay. Okay, I cannot see her, cannot see it. Very good. All right, guys, are you finished? Or one more? It doesn't fit. You can adjust the screen, the window. All right, are you finished guys? Or is somebody, uh, are you finished or is anybody writing?
Oh. It's okay. I'm trying to fix it. So this not because should be over here, right? Oh, what happened there? It's in, in the no. No, because she also has a life. Yeah. And let's see one more. If you have two profiles, you can use one professionally and, and that could be an advantage. Well, that's a, that's a nice one. All right, are you finished guys? Yes. Now let's yes, check I out some so. of these writings, okay? It's an easy and cheap way of discarding people that could be uh, problematic, sorry. Problematic. Very good. Okay, I'm going to raise this little thing up on the side there. That sentence is correct. Discarding people that could be problematic. Good. They could know how much sociable you are. Uh, sure. But in this case, you can say how sociable. You don't need the much. Just how social okay, you are. All right. Next, how if you have social. two profiles, you can use one professionally. This is an adverb. The adverb modifies a verb or an adjective. And in this case, you're, you're using an adjective. So a professional. You can use a professional one. So we move the one and say a, a professional one. And that could be an advantage for what? Could be an advantage of or for? For obtaining the job. To obtain, hmm. that could be an advantage. To get a job. Well, I guess we can leave it like that. Let's go for the no. No, it's not fair because we have, actually right to privacy is a noun. So the, the right to privacy. There, uh, next. Social networking, social networking. Social networking. No. Nope. In plural. No. Or social networking is. Social, yes. net social networking is. Is informal. Uh, no, isn't a, it isn't a formal or correct way to get your personal information. It isn't a formal or correct way to get to get your. It's not you getting it. Is the person who is checking you out, right? The employer, the recruiter. So it isn't a formal or correct way to get personal information, just like that. And. Not because this not is stating a, a, a because a cause. You can say not really, and that would be okay. I'm gonna lower the letters like that. Not really because she also has a life and has to be fun. Who is she? <laughs> She in a specific? Or not she? really because a person. No. A person, yes. No, not only it's a person. A person also has a life and has to be fun. What about? Se tiene que divertir. Lo tiene que ah, no. that's, that's a colloquial expression. Maybe uh. Anne has the right to have fun, yeah? Okay. 
There you go. So not really because a person also has a life and has the right to have fun. Or we can uh, reduce the verb has because we repeated it. Has a life and the right to have fun. Perfect. There you go. Any questions, guys? No. No? No. We're going to check the next. Today's online debate. Is it fair for employers to check out job applicants online? All you have to do is if Rosa says yes or no. And if Daniel says yes or no. First, we only focus on if they are against it or in favor of. And on the second time, we listen their reasons, okay? Okay. Yes, and did everybody understand the instructions? Yes. I hope so. Page 17. Online footprints. Three, listening and speaking. But is it fair? B. Listen to two people debate the question above. Who answers yes, it's fair, and no, it's not fair, to the question? Which of the reasons in your lists did they use? Employees basically want people who will fit in. After all, what you do online shows your true personality. But your online profile is private information. So you think it's private? On the contrary. If I can see your profile by looking online, it's not private. It's public. It tells me things that I won't see in an interview. Yes, but, but what you see on social networking sites is not the whole person. Social networking sites don't tell you what people are like at work. I know what you mean, but you need to consider the cost. Employers need to be very careful about the people they employ because it's very expensive to recruit and train new staff. Yes, I agree. But on the other hand, as an employer, you can't own your employees 24-7. Everyone has a right to have fun in his or her free time. True. But if I'm looking at two people for the same job, I'll probably avoid the person who's always partying. However, just because they party a lot doesn't mean people are bad at the job. For some jobs, you need friendly, outgoing people. But it's not just party photos. It's blogs and postings and comments, too. For example, I don't want to hire somebody with an off-color sense of humor or someone who sounds arrogant. I want someone who will fit in and work well with other people. Well, I can see that. On the one hand, you don't want to employ difficult people. But on the other hand, people change at work and behave in a different way with friends. So while the Internet may show you one side of a person, you really need to see what a candidate is like in person before you can decide. All right, guys, now please talk to each other. OK, there are 10 of you. Uh, I am assuming by now you are getting to know each other a little bit. So share your answers, share your questions and come up with an answer. Yes. As a team, tell me, what does Rosa say? Is it fair or not fair? What does Daniel say? Is it fair or not fair? Please, share. Mm, Daniel says it's not fair. And Rosa says it's, it's fair. Yeah, actually, Rosa explains that your, well, your profile in social network is is kind of public, not is not private at all. But Daniel replies saying that you don't behave the same way when you're with your friends that when you're in in your job. I think that that is when the the main um, point of each one is is showed. So also, what? Daniel said that uh, we have the right to have informed, like in private, 
but uh, Rosa said that um, companies avoid people that always is partying. All right, so which of the reasons in your list did they use? I see some people working, but I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> okay, we have more activities to do. So I'm gonna go to the next one. Can you please read, Valerie? Okay, listen again and write two missing words in each sentence. Continue. Yes, please. Number one, letter A. On the one hand, Rosa believes that what you do online shows your? What do you think, guys? Shows your what? Personality. Okay, let's go for number two. On the other hand. Is private. Kind of private. Next, number two, A. Okay, listen again and write your answers on your notebooks. And after we listen, we'll go in session so you can share your answers with your classmates. Page 17, three, listening and speaking. But is it fair? C, listen again and write the two missing words in each sentence. Employees basically want people who will fit in. After all, what you do online shows your true personality. But your online profile is private information. So you think it's private? On the contrary. If I can see your profile by looking online, it's not private. It's public. It tells me things that I won't see in an interview. Yes, but, but what you see on social networking sites is not the whole person. Social networking sites don't tell you what people are like at work. I know what you mean, but you need to consider the cost. Employers need to be very careful about the people they employ because it's very expensive to recruit and train new staff. Yes, I agree. But on the other hand, as an employer, you can't own your employees 24-7. Everyone has a right to have fun in his or her free time. True, but if I'm looking at two people for the same job, I'll probably avoid the person who's always partying. However, just because they party a lot doesn't mean people are bad at the job. For some jobs, you need friendly, outgoing people. But it's not just party photos. It's blogs and postings and comments, too. For example, I don't want to hire somebody with an off-color sense of humor or someone who sounds arrogant. I want someone who will fit in and work well with other people. Well, I can see that. On the one hand, you don't want to employ difficult people. But on the other hand, people change at work and behave in a different way with friends. So while the internet may show you one side of a person, you really need to see what a candidate is like, in person, before you can decide. That was a little fast, wasn't it? Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, please, let's work together. Let's go in sessions and oh, I'm going to send you the, the image, okay? And it's ready, so let's go. there.
Yes, you finished? Yes. Not really. Not yes, really. Why, why did you leave the session? You had one more minute. <laughs> it's okay. Now let's check some of your answers. There. Who has the answer for number one? Me, teacher. Me. Me also. Personality. Me also. Personality. Who has the answer? Who can write it? Nobody. Nobody can write it? We can. I can see yes, because the guy can see the is dark. Oh, I'm sorry. Can you repeat that, please? We can I can see. see your screen. You can't? Yes, no. I can't. Okay. Give me one second. No. Mm -mm. Not yet? No. No yet. No yet. At the teacher. What is going on? I know. Now. Nope. That's it. Okay. Well, while we do this, uh, let's begin. On the one hand, Rosa believes that what you do online shows your. Okay. Now I can see your screen. Yeah. Yeah. Me too. Okay. Yeah, now we can see the text. Now, can you please, okay, who has the answer for number one? Me. Go ahead, type it, please. What about 1B? On the other hand, Daniel argues that your online profile is? Private. Yeah, private. Right. Private Please. information. Please uh, uh, type it. Next, number two. Rosa says online profiles tell you what you won't see in an in interview. In interview. an interview. Okay, to be. Daniel thinks social networking sites don't tell you what a person is like. Um, work. Picture something happened with my my pencil or with my. Yeah, I don't know. I, um, Zoom is working a little funny. I don't know what's going on. Okay, with friends and 3B, Daniel believes that everyone has a right to have fun. And 4A, Rosa says companies want people who will fit in and work. No, I and can I write another answer? Yes, go ahead. Oh, kind, but it it doesn't see clear. I'm sorry, teacher. I wrote the answer, but it doesn't clear. 
It doesn't see clear. I know, I know, I don't know what's going on. Uh, there are some the, things. The, the first one is, it's personality, but I, I can write it complete. It's already uh, there, personality. I, I, okay. I, yeah. I don't know what happened with my, my cancer. What? Can you erase this personal big letters word? No, I can write it. I can write it complete and I can erase it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know what happened. It's okay. Let's leave it like that. Now let's listen and check your answers. Okay. okay. Are you ready? Yes. I'm ready. Yes, I am. Page 17. Three. Listening and speaking. But is it fair? C. Listen again and write the two missing words in each sentence. Employees basically want people who will fit in. After all, what you do online shows your true personality. But your online profile is private information. So you think it's private? On the contrary. If I can see your profile by looking online, it's not private. It's public. It tells me things that I won't see in an interview. Yes, but... But what you see on social networking sites is not the whole person. Social networking sites don't tell you what people are like at work. I know what you mean, but you need to consider the cost. Employers need to be very careful about the people they employ because it's very expensive to recruit and train new staff. Yes, I agree. But on the other hand, as an employer, you can't own your employees 24-7. Everyone has a right to have fun in his or her free time. True, but if I'm looking at two people for the same job, I'll probably avoid the person who's always partying. However, just because they party a lot doesn't mean people are bad at the job. For some jobs, you need friendly, outgoing people. But it's not just party photos. It's blogs and postings and comments, too. For example, I don't want to hire somebody with an off-color sense of humor or someone who sounds arrogant. I want someone who will fit in and work well with other people. Well, I can see that. On the one hand, you don't want to employ difficult people. But on the other hand, people change at work and behave in a different way with friends. So while the Internet may show you one side of a person, you really need to see what a candidate is like, in person, before you can decide. Okay, now we have a chance to check your work. Number one? It's correct. Uh, it's incomplete. It's true personality. True personality. Okay. What about number 1B? Private information. information. Private information. information. What about 2A? An interview. An interview, An interview is correct. What about to be it work at at work, work. At work. At work. and 3a very expensive very expensive, very expensive. Uh, 3b have fun have fun yes. correct number 4a work well work well so i'm going to take this work alone Right. And work well is correct. And 4B? With friends. With friends. Perfect, guys. Thank you very much. Do you have any questions? No. Just wait, wait a sec, because I want to take a picture. Go right ahead. Tell me when you're ready, please. Yes, I'm ready. Thank you. Okay. Can you read, please? Let me see. America, can you read? Yes. Can you read? Um, debate. Prepare a response to the debate question with a partner and then present your argument to the class. How many people answered yes? How many answered no? Today's online debate is it fair for employers to check out job applicants online? 
plan. Perfect. So you have to prepare a response to the debate question. Yes. You're going to do it with a partner. And I'm going to give you two minutes. So you're going to go with a partner, a classmate, and together as a team, you will have a response. Yes? Yes. So for one thing, you have to decide <clears throat> if the answer is yes or the answer is no. And after you decide which one you're going to do, then you do it together. The, the answer, only one answer per team. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, now, does anybody have a question? No, Jet. No. no? Did everybody understand the instructions? Yes. 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 Great. Let's go in sessions, please, and have our responses. <coughs> All right, let's go. All right, guys, we're back. Excellent. So there it is. Do you have your response ready? Yes, you're ready. Yes. Yes, excellent. Who would like to start? My team, I think so. Say, Who? are you agree? Do you agree? Uh, do you agree? <laughs> yeah, do you agree? I don't know. We agree that you start. Perfect. So, Valeria and who? My partner, say. Who is oh, me, teacher. Oh, Argelia. Okay. Yep. Ladies, please present your argument. Okay. We are not agree with that. We it's, do not agree. We do not agree with that. It's not the same a personal interview because the attitude and relationship is different between colleagues and friends. Okay. And do you continue? Do you want to continue? Yes. Yes. And um, so we think that is um not fair because um if your boss check your check out your your social network could be kind of invasive because the social network is for entertainment and internet is is free so you can upload whatever you want or share things with your friends <laughs> But it's not the same that your attitude in your at your work, like my partner said. All right. Who wants to go next? Me and Ar Armando. Okay. okay. Well, I, well, we were talking about the, the certain topics, privacy that is indeed public. And that you want to share some things. So, Lucelena, if you want, if you want to develop those ideas, those ideas. Yes, sorry. Thank you. Mm, yes, and Armando uh, says that the, about the friends and family and um, for education, and uh, we went to need to socialize so it's it's impossible to to use that that um basis it's impossible to mm. use what mm, that um the internet or the facebook or something like that okay to share the to the other ones to check other people? Uh, no, I'll share. To share with other people. I'll post when when you go out or 
or um, you do a party or something you it's it's impossible to to post and and with your family and friends um i don't know you mean you mean it's impossible not to post something yes. right okay yes thank you is that it guys <clears throat> no actually well we we say that the answer is is no it is not fair first of all sorry so other things that we were talking about is that well we are humans we we commit mistakes so maybe because one time you you did something that wasn't that that good or well for 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 the people that is checking your your social network well you 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 have the right to commit mistakes another thing is that you need to socialize that is a way because we are well in these times that is sometimes the only way to socialize with others and well at the end we 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 have this um, idea that it's not your job to educate or to to be a, to have to to let a good impression in others okay it's your life you you live your life as you as you want so i i think that's that's it all right thank you sir uh just uh something we have the right to make mistakes okay thank, thank you. you all right somebody wants to uh, continue please my team yeah go ahead it's no fair there is a lot of information is false and don't tell real personality okay so there is a lot of false information yes and what else uh, don't tell real personality it the false information doesn't say the real personality personality Okay, thank you. All right. Daniela, can you continue, please? Yeah. Um, okay, Tommy and I um, said that is not fair because we can show different personalities. Uh, maybe we can we can show a personality with with our friends and another, and another personality is in um, with our family and at work. So I that is the answer that that okay. we... And also because of the lack of personal contact, um, because uh, we as humans need more information like movement or, or gestures or postures to get enough information from other people about the mood or personality or behave. So behavior. Behavior. So we need that information. Good. Thank you, Canton. Uh, who is missing? Everybody spoke? Carolina? Lorena? Yes. I think the last idea could be, it is difficult for employers to recognize the abilities a person has to do the job. Okay. Thank you. And is that it? Or Lorena, did you share your opinion? Okay. We think that it is not fair because uh, the information is, uh, we have private uh, information and it doesn't describe uh, our personality and because we use it just for entertainment. There you go. Well, this wasn't much of a debate, was it? Everybody agreed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm really it's only a nice opportunity to talk. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect, guys. All right. Uh, we're finished for today. Uh, today's lesson is finished. We have a writing exercise that we'll do tomorrow. And um, how was the class?
Interesting, but intensive. In intensive? <laughs> and faster than the Chester Bay class. <laughs> it was faster? I think so. <laughs> yes, guys, what do you yes. think? Was it fast? Yes. I expect it was slow. I think it was fast because of the topic. Yes. Because it was really interesting. Guys, what do you think? Was it fast? Everybody yeah. agrees that it was fast? Yes. 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 Okay, we are two days behind. <laughs> Do you want to take an extra day, maybe Friday? Yes, that will. All right, let me check out my schedule. Let's see what time can, can we get together on Friday. I'll let you know tomorrow and then we all agree on an hour, okay? Okay, okay. okay. that okay. will be perfect. Okay. All right, so what was the class about today, guys? I didn't hear the question. Ah, what was the class about today? What did we see today? Did you learn something new? Yes. What's the Social media? New vocabulary. New vocabulary, great. Excellent, I hope you enjoyed the class. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, please. And if not, great, oh. you're done. Thank you very much, guys. I'm sorry I didn't turn my camera on. I had some problems earlier and I had uh, to change rooms quickly. And I, I, I don't want to show my, the things behind me. So <laughs> tomorrow I should be okay. Uh, thank you very much. Anyways, have a great evening and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, thank you teacher. Bye, Bye guys. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.